YouTube. Got up uh, early this morning. We've had a, quite a bit of rain here in North Carolina. So I got up early this morning. I mean, yeah, this morning. I was up late last night checking the plants under the leaves with a magnifying glass. See, you know, how many aphids and everything. And I'm seeing very few aphids. So, the other day I used the 3 in 1 organic, garden safe, neem oil, and uh, seemed to do good. But I also had some pure neem oil, and I mixed that up this morning a couple teaspoons to a gallon, and I threw in a half a teaspoon of Dawn, the blue Dawn dish soap in a pump sprayer and came out here and sprayed all the plants because as I understand it the uh, the uh, the plants it's healthy for them to uh, to uh, hit them with the neem oil it's good for the plants and, uh, and it seems to be working good this plants coming back the uh, the one that was uh, got a bad case of shock, transplant shock. He's coming back, really bushing out. And uh, plants are looking healthy. You know, I hit him at first with the diatomaceous earth, and uh, and that did good. I think it got things started got the ants to slow down and then I hit them with the three in one and uh and today you know like I said I put some some pure neem oil you know when you spray it you spray it in the ground too because I guess when they take it up in there in the plant it also can get rid of some bugs you know it uh they don't like it. So, so it seems for the time it's working out good. I also ordered online on Amazon, made by Bear Aspirin, the, the fruit and vegetable, which you put in the ground and the plants take it in. And, uh, and then, you know, everything dies. I've heard real good things about it but it is an insecticide it's not organic so so I've never given my plants anything that wasn't healthy for them and, uh, and I would really like to try to keep it that way so uh, it's going to sit in my room and if the worst comes to worst you know I'll have to use it that's if I can't get the aphids under control but for right now, it seems they're they're uh, slowing down. You know, I could spread some uh, dead tomatoes earth on the ground to try to prevent the uh, the ants from bringing them back in. You know, once uh, once things dry out a little bit. So uh, it seems to be working out. After you, I guess what the neem oil does is it disrupts the the breeding pattern of the uh, the aphids, and uh, and the soap gives them a, gets in there uh, gets in there so they can't breathe through their skin, and the neem oil gets rid of some in, the diseases and infections. I guess they don't like it. Um, last year in my garden, I was using it. I was using the diatomaceous earth, and uh, I know I had aphids. I know because there's a lot of ants. And I remember the little green bugs, but at the time I really didn't know much about them until I studied up more. And maybe the beneficial bugs help keep them away. 
which uh, I hope they come this year. I've seen a lot of uh, spiders, little tiny spiders are jumping up on the plants and stuff. And I know they're probably not there just admiring my plants. So they're probably also eating aphids. I understand that wolf spiders, I don't know that that's what they are. I'm hoping that's probably what they are, or some kind of spider that eats aphids. But uh, if I could get the beneficial bugs working for me, that would be nice. And uh, hopefully they really hate the, the aphids really hate the taste of this neem oil. And they will move on somewhere else. But uh, it rained real good. And uh, there's a lot of organic. Because I, I ordered like that I filled this thing with uh, 12 cubic yards of organic garden soil that they come with a big truck and deliver. It's real hard for right now. But, if it, you know, it's got a lot of organic matter in there. And uh, hopefully the plants, it'll start breaking down and the plants can get a hold of it. And, uh, you know, I keep a steady eye on these plants. Make sure these aphids, I keep the, keep hitting them. And, uh, so far I'm pleased. And I hope I don't have to dump in any insecticides. And, uh, that is the update. Over and out.